Hi everyone. Today we're excited to walk you through the process of creating this stunning futuristic background grid in Blender using HUD and UI Elements add-on. HUD and UI Elements is an add-on that simplifies the creation and editing of futuristic user interfaces, making it fun and accessible. We'll begin by laying the foundation for our grid lines. First, we'll add a matrix of rectangles element. To give the grid the right proportions, we'll set the number of elements X to 10 and Y to 9. Feel free to adjust these values to suit your project. Just make sure that Y is one unit smaller than X. Then we'll make sure that spacing X and Y are set to 0.1. Now, let's shape the individual grid lines. Under the base element parameters, we'll adjust the width to 0.00025 and the length to 0.09. Then, we'll activate the fill checkbox to make the lines solid. To create the intersecting lines, We'll duplicate the element and use the swap button under base element parameters close to width to invert the values. Next, we'll go back to the matrix of rectangles parameters and swap the number of elements. Now, let's add some finer details to enhance our grid. To start, we'll duplicate the object once again. This time, we'll adjust the number of elements X to 10. Under base element parameters, let's set the width and length to 0.0015. These adjustments will create intermediate points across the intersections, adding a subtle yet intricate layer to the grid. At this point, it may be helpful to switch to wireframe mode to enhance clarity. Next, let's bring in even more details along the grid lines. We'll duplicate the object again and increase the number of elements X by multiplying it by 4, then subtracting 5. Then, we'll divide spacing X by 4. To avoid overlap, We'll set the height type to multiples of n excluding 1, adjust the direction to along x, set n to 4, and under global transforms, set position z to 0.0002, giving it just enough elevation. For the perpendicular direction, we'll duplicate the object once again. This time, we'll swap the number of elements and spacing, then adjust the direction to along y. Now, Let's bring even more character to our grid by adding details inside each cell. To start, we'll create a matrix of text element to add a plus sign in the center of every cell. We'll set the number of elements X and number of elements Y to 9, then adjust the spacing X to 0.1. Under base element parameters, we'll change the text to plus and set the size to 0.01. Next, let's add extra lines along the centers of the cells. To do this, We'll clone one of the existing grid element. Then we'll set the number of elements X to 18 and Y to 9, adjusting the spacing X to 0.05. Under base element parameters, we'll fine tune the line proportions by dividing the width by three and the length by four. This creates thinner, more subtle lines that fit perfectly within the cells. For the perpendicular lines, we'll duplicate the element once again. We'll swap the number of elements the spacing and the width for the right orientation. To complete our design, let's add a background element to give our grid more depth. We'll start by duplicating the central dots created earlier. We will then adjust the width and length to 0.09. Next, under global transforms, we'll adjust the position Z to negative 0.001. This pushes the background slightly back, creating a subtle layered effect. And there we have it a dynamic multi-element futuristic grid that captures attention and keeps the focus flowing seamlessly between highlighted objects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more creative content. Have any questions? Feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'd be happy to help.